powerful and how profound. Flying high through golden air, till in shadow I was drowned, powerless in my despair. Now my cold sun scorns to shine, bitter soul, infernal fear. The roses hold more thorns than mine, winter is eternal here. Shattered by the endless night, battered, friendless, in a fright. Dreams of love are shades of grey, that fray while colours fade away. Blood and nerve and bounding heart, heavy words you lightly throw. How can spirit come apart like tears in rain or the melting snow? Yet the sun still shines divine, phoenix rising, wings unfurled. Golden glowing, smile and shine, there is beauty in the world. There is hope and joy and love, ride the dark nights of the soul. You can rise, transcend above that sense that you are no longer whole. In the darkness of the night, I will try to shine a light. All my pain will disappear. I refuse to live in fear. I will be a force of light, like a candle in the night. Life's cruel lessons I can take, my crystal spirit cannot break. When I fall, not if, but when, I'll stand tall to rise again. I'll annihilate these fears I will set fire to these tears. Okay, well. What a bad face. Here we are. I never imagined I would awaken to the sight of a torture, torturer. And two of them wearing demonic diabolical masks fashioned from my blood and viscera uh, with holes all over my head and face, ironically having been beaten half to death, beaten senseless, uh, stupefied. Even in a life full of lynch lynchings and violence in which I took a particular gleeful pleasure in poking some rather unpleasant people in the eye. You don't imagine that that fate will befall you. You don't imagine that anything so nightmarishly diabolical or so hellishly demonic will happen to you. But it can. And as a result, with traumatic brain injuries and uh, having been psychologically murdered, I have a sense that I awoke in hell to the sight of gleeful demons and casual cannibalism and diabolism. I mean, these two shaven silverback gorillas, these two gigantic other grown monkeys from the seventh circle of hell they they existed in the real and material world but melbourne's most dangerous gangsters this language i'm employing might sound melodramatic but it's not i'm not unhinged i'm not divorced from reality in any delusional sense this all occurred it really happened the damage was inflicted and savagely at that this was an episode from the real and material mm. realm mm. is poetry barbaric after auschwitz <laughs> Or futile post cruciatus. Who the hell knows, man? But you know what? Life hurts, love hurts, and that's the wellspring of poems, novels, and songs. 
Sorry about this shitty camera. It's on a 13, 14 year old museum piece of a map with uh, second hand and it's a clapped out old banger like my bike, the veteran of many a road crash. Catastrophe, fuck. Fitting contractions and gizmos for me, I feel like a clapped out old banger. A veteran of lynchings innumerous, uh, innumerable. Um, numerous near escapes. And then lastly, after experiencing real suffering, the suffering of others in natural disaster and spending four months alleviating it, well, then I experienced a very different personal kind of uh, uh, type of individual suffering that forever changes you. And in my case, I don't think it's melodramatic to suggest I became a, a shadow in a world, an undying shadow trapped in a world of light. But hey, <laughs> I suppose if you're still biologically alive, you're still in the fight. And I'm assailed by stress chemicals. I can't snap myself out of the fight or flight instinct. I've been animalized and juvenilized. Not juvenated or rejuvenated, but juvenilized as in made juvenile. Everything has intensified astoundingly. And I'm assailed by stress chemicals when I'm around people, so I can't properly process and verbalize my thoughts in the way that I can now and share poems and, uh, and describe it in a way that doesn't suggest that the, uh, the flow of thought and the feast of reason is forever thwarted in this fucking abandoned barn of a brain that I have that's been bludgeoned and bushwhacked and brain damaged we fucking massive you know? mm. strange and slightly sweaty mind grapes to be fermenting but there you go. it is like i awakened to this i awakened dead in hell to the sight of diabolism and cannibalism uh, i woke in hell dead to the site of my torturous um, gleeful demons the pair of them and then i was uh, later in that long and sick morning but how do you measure time in such an episode and realm and plane dimension and experience um, it becomes the endless second into which all time collapsed it's like i walk in hell and then was released later the next morning, late morning, and released into a, a palm shaded purgatorial paradise in pandemic time. Crawling here to heal, and the rest of the world fucking goes kill crazy, monster raving loony. Spaz frazzled space cadets at every turn, it's not merely the the brain damage amongst us. Anyway. It's been a remarkably interesting experience in its way, I suppose. Is poetry in all its myriad forms a genus based piece? Is it barbaric or merely futile? Or do our mammalian flailings have worth? Who knows? But hey, dance continues, the ride goes on. Wisdom begins to wonder. Only fools are certain. Up your knees and feel the breeze, think of me when you come. All that shit. All that. Ciao for now. <laughs>